versus who is he fighting? Whooper. Right. Whooper versus Easy. Or Izzy with only 300k gold. That's some rough stuff. I mean, both players are veteran. They've been playing in TSDL for a while. It's at least like four seasons each. Which is always nice because... Well, usually you don't really have to go over we, all the rules with them. Do we use best of three rules or no? Yes. Yeah, best of three. Okay. Um, and is game two and three played on the same map? It's, what do you random. Mean? it's randomized when you, you you just make sure to click on the button the best of three right so what i'm saying for game two do we just quit out no it's best okay. of three yeah right there okay so does paul play it on the same map huh it's like it's, all three games they're all... they're randomized after the first game yeah they're they're randomized oh okay 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 it automatically randomizes right okay yep, good luck good luck um, yeah, they're both experienced players. Means the match will probably be interesting. Well, I mean, clearly not, because I just said... <laughs> he, just a he just asked what the rules were. Maybe... He yeah, it's actually not even his first time getting into the final stage, too. Damn. So that's kind of strange, but yeah. Okay. So, do you want to talk about Whooper's box a little bit? Yeah, Whooper's running Shelf and Hind. Those are the only two units that you wouldn't see regularly. Everything else is pretty standard. No debuff AoE whatsoever, and definitely running a more single target oriented box, which is why Shelf's kind of weird, right? I don't know if it's single target oriented, because there's Shelf, Hind, you can use AoE. I think his AoE is so much better than his single target build, to be honest. Uh, his, his single target is really bad. And there's Burn, there's Odious, there's Ares. So I wouldn't say single target oriented. It's a little bit of mixed. Yeah. But I would actually say it's more AoE oriented, to be honest. Um, I think he can do both. Yeah, I, I see your point. Yeah, I guess I was just hard. thinking units like Mariel and Elwyn, and I was thinking of Hind more as single target, but I don't yeah, know. I don't know him that well. Yeah, he's actually better as an AOE because he get dwarves, and he doesn't get it. The thing about him is he doesn't get any damage. But yeah, um, if you want to go like AOE build, you can go like Miracle plus dwarves is not too bad, and his uh, modifier is not bad. His intelligence is pretty high, so um. So you can choose to go Miracle, Red Moon, or Genius Staff, but his single target is not too strong. So if you fa face an enemy with damage reduction, you're not going to do too much. So for example, like Juggler with Lobsters, you're not going to... I don't even think you can kill lobster, Lobsters. Yeah, that honest. makes sense. But yeah, Easy's box. Easy's box is single target oriented. Pretty much all single target. Um, we do see Toa and Shlinka, not too common, right? Even Rosalia is not too common, also Rachel. But both players using three tank blocks. Yeah. And Wooper picked Landius, whereas Easy picked Juggler. Both had choice of picking Juggler or Landius. But I guess Easy thought that Wooper is going to go AoE oriented. Very safe, though. Second pick was Rosen Seal here against AoE. Yeah, there's not a lot of debuff, but there is a lot of AoE, so Rosin still makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Rosin's go good. Only thing is, Shelf's Dispel is going to be really annoying either way. It doesn't matter. You can like heal through it. You can Dispel off Juggler's buffs pretty easily with Shelf. Yeah. And Shelf is a... Kind of an easy pick for Wooper, just because he picked up Landius. And with Landius buff, Shelf can bring two AoEs, which is pretty nice. So he might pick up Shelf. Yeah, Shelf would be running 3C and Demolish, probably. No, 3C and Heaven Sanction. Hmm. Yeah. He picks Juggler instead. Fairy, 
uh, stall kind of style here. Two tanks and all these. But it's going to be hard to get through. But uh, I guess it will depend on the draft. Yeah. Then... I kind of want to see is it or is he ban Ellen here? Just it's annoying for dog, right? Um, not necessarily just because you have Rosencio. Um, you get Amy to heal block, which is pretty nice. And if you bring Lancer troops, I don't think it's going to be a problem because there's no one really that's going to hit Juggler. All these regular hits not going to do too much. So as long as he bends out something like Mario and um, Hein, should be fine. If Wooper picks uh, Ellen, that is. Yeah. Mainly want to ban Hein to not have to run Great Dragon Barrier, right? Um, I don't think you really need to worry about Hein killing other units, to be honest, because he's single target so weak. So, for example, you're not going to kill Rachel, his third pick, with Hein, unless you have uh, Twilight. Yeah. But we, we're not sure what kind of build this is, so we'll see. With with Twilight, I mean, with Genius stuff, he does get full range, which is pretty nice. And he does get teleport. But I don't think he's going to pick up high now. It's either going to be Shelf or Elwood, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I don't like fighting... Or it uh, could be uh, Liana, just because the healers are gone. Because it looks like Wooper is going super defensive. Yeah, I think it'd be Liana. I was just saying, I don't like fighting Elwyn with Dog because he could dispel my B Shock, and it's really annoying. So, my top choices here would be Shelf and Mario here. Shelf is still going to be very annoying just because if he stalls it out, which looks like Wooper is, he's going to pick up Shelf and just sit in the middle and just stall. Yeah. And he's just going to win by damage. And at this point, Easy just has single targets. It might be just hard to get through with all Wooper has. So most likely Wooper's gonna just going to pick up Shelf and try to win by damage. So to be honest, very boring to watch at least. <laughs> but wins a win, right? So... I was thinking that Wooper should have banned a DPS there. So Landy's pick here is... It really doesn't do anything, right? Because yeah. he was going to pick up Shelf. Having more DPS to just at least try to get through the tank, I think, would have been better. Because you do have Rachel, who's pretty strong. And Rosalia is going to help you get the 10% um, attack and intelligence in the middle and that you could try to get through yeah i was expecting izzy to pick one of those dps fourth and then whooper bans the other two dps that izzy didn't pick that seems more conducive towards stalling mm -hmm. so letting shove through last pick i think is a little bit of misplay and well misband pick there because clearly he's stalling Yeah, it doesn't seem... But then I guess it comes down to who can occupy the center first, because I don't think Wooper has a good way to kill Izzy either, right? Well, I mean, Wooper has the advantage just because he has all these tile. Ah, yeah. He can just push. And that also disables uh, Juggler and Ares, for a little bit at least. So occupying middle, Wooper also has, has the advantage as well. Yeah, that Odeus is going to do a lot of work there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just going to be hard to maintain any kind of buff. Shelf is just going to nuke after nuke. So if it's like a dimensional jewel, potentially you could like nuke every turn until you don't proc it. We'll see though. 
It could be like something like Vidar's, which is also known. Yeah, both are good, I think. And you are going to have act again every few turns, so Shelf will be able to uh, AoE as much as possible. Oh yeah, I should ping TSDL, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Oh, he actually brought Demolish, like you said. I guess he just wants to dispel every turn, pretty much. And also, if you bring Demolish, since you're not really trying to kill the opponent, Demolish could be better. Yeah. Because you're, you're not going to run out of AoE. So, yeah. Demolish, yeah, probably better choice here. You're just going to nuke this spell. And Easy, I don't think, has any way to really make any kind of plays, to be honest. But we'll see. Yeah, it's two tank versus two tank, so Beast Shock lockdown won't be very easy, or at least it shouldn't be. Mm hmm. Especially uh, with there's a dog. A... Yeah, especially there's a push, so it's going to be very hard. And both very defensive picks, but Wooper definitely has, has the advantage. Yeah, it does seem like this is going to be a turn 12 whooper just sitting in the center all game, spamming shelf AoE. Mm -hmm. You do have disruption from Ares, but I'm not expecting too much. Can Ares pull people in the fog? No, right? Uh, you can. But they're just gonna walk back in. Yeah. You could attempt block by pulling them. But if all six slots are taken, so you have to do it before fall closes in all the way. Otherwise, you're suiciding your arrows to pull. So, I mean, yeah. if that's what you have to do to take over middle, you could. Only thing is that Odious, if he has 3C, can just push everyone out as well and there's sorks on rosin and rachel so they're going to be impacted by oldia styles pretty much yep. four members on izzy's team are shut down by oldius that's true good thing about rosin is her i didn't i don't know if he brought 3c but if you use 3c you can't push yeah that's the only good thing at least for a few turns and so it is Mm -hmm. There's Landius as a wall for that too, so that seems like the only chance of not getting completely screwed by Oldius. Yeah, put your units in front of Landius. Okay. So both players just moving up middle. Um, I don't know why Rachel's staying so far back. There's no threat, so I'll also just move up. Yeah. If there's no assassins, no big debuffs to land on you, you can pretty much just push up. Maybe he's afraid of getting dispelled. Uh, I don't think it's too much of a problem, though. He could put... Uh, there, you have to remember there's Landius and Aldius, so... There's a high chance Ares does not crit. So it's not like he can go in. Because, I mean, it's an easy dispel water. Which you can potentially kill that traveler. But it's most likely that you're not going to crit. Yeah. Uh, juggler has 10% crit reduction on his heart bond. He'll run PvP minus crit. So it's minus 60%. Ares is looking at like 10-20% of critting. And you need to crit to kill. Yeah. If you have like damage buff. And also like heaven's guard. You don't. Yeah. But in this case, you do. Or if it's a blood pack dog, but that's that's a different story. So yeah, interesting game. Both players just walking up mid, and the thing about Easy is he didn't walk on mid. He stood still with this old Lenius. Well, this is not too bad though. Um, you can safely move a Rachel now. Yeah, she can't be pushed. Yeah. 
So you can safely move all your units. The only problem is their mobility is pretty bad right now. I don't think Wooper needed to use old AS3C there at all. Yeah, he's not being threatened by Ares, so he didn't need to use it. It's, it's a lot better to push the team and try to clock it. Yeah. So 3C has been wasted. If anything, you'd almost rather Ares go in earlier. Because okay. then you just counter kill him, right? Backing, backing off is also a very strange move. I think Easy doesn't know that his win con is to take over middle. Yeah. So he's going to start dispelling. Dispelled off the water. It's not going to matter too much. Actually missed the guard prio. It might be on Juggler looking at the position. I missed it too. But I mean, if he doesn't realize that he needs to get in the middle ASAP and your opponent actually wasted 3C on Landius or Oldius, he's just going to get... He's just going to get pushed out. It's not going to look too good. Yeah, he, he needs to move up. Those tiles are really screwing up, moving up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's not realizing it. looks rough it's just like there's nothing to be afraid of i mean you're just gonna get dispelled you can't avoid it drop against shell with demolish you just have to just take over mid, mid and there's really nobody that can kill your team anyway just take over mid but i think he missed this chance now whooper's just gonna take mid next turn yeah, and then there's also, no way to get him out, really. Mm -hmm. Also going the wrong direction with Rachel, because that way is blocked. Wooper is not really going to mid either, though. He did act again, so... Easy does get turn prior, which is nice. Only if he can get in the middle. Yeah, Wooper acts again with Liana there because um, you're going to give up turn priority eventually, so you might as well just give it up now and get act again off cooldown. And there's just no strong way to kill. Mm -hmm. Sui says, if neither can kill, Izzy will win mid-fight because you can just Ares pull them out and reset? I don't, I don't know. I think that's hard to pull off. Yeah, I mean, there's... If there wasn't an Oldius, sure, right? Mm -hmm. He does have a chance, though, just because... Um, just because Wooper wasted his 3C. But, I mean, he's not even moving up. It's not like he can move up either. Because Juggler cannot move right now. Uh, he, he needs to move up, though. So, Juggler took over that one spot out of six. Yeah, I mean, you can... There's just no way to get through Wooper's tanks with this spot. I mean, I think you can make something happen, but it's definitely going to be hard. I mean, Rachel's pretty good. Yeah, you do have single target areas. There's Beast Shock. You can try to make something work, but you can't try to play safe like this. You have to start moving up. If Blandius or Shelf takes the spot in front of 
easy as land is, it's just gonna get harder. Yeah, then you die even faster, and on this map you only need four units to block people off. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna, he's just gonna move up, take over middle. Demolish. Attack buff gone on Rachel, which is big. Pretty useless for three turns. Pretty bad chances of dispelling that attack buff too. Yeah, she she had a lot of It's like a one eight or something. Yeah, there are like eight buffs. So there are different type of opponents and different type of games. And each game you kinda have to understand what your win condition is. And in this case, um, also important to realize what your opponent is trying to do. So if he's going to 3C, he's trying to use 3C and attack either Landius here. Or I guess he's going to stand still. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's important to realize what your opponent is thinking. So in this case, he was pretty much, a, it was like a pretty much a stall team. You don't want to give shelf. Yeah. And his win con is basically sitting mid, so you do have to take that mid. So there is an angle with Ares. I think one Landius life could go, but then I feel it's so hard to get the second one. No, I don't think you can kill Landius. But um, he is moving up, which is nice. Yeah, probably not, because Dog doesn't have water. Yeah, I mean, I will move up there. Pretty safe. Can't get pushed. Interesting. Um... The other thing is all these flyers means that tile Rachel's on would usually be you couldn't be pushed past it, but flyers can. Mm hmm So even if you ignore guard, let's say I mean juggler is either gonna jump or um to be honest he doesn't need to. He doesn't really need to guard because there's no attack buff on Rachel. Also she's not using her sight is gone. Yeah. And you can't really kill Odious or Shelf right now, which is no attack buff the healing skill single well, target. Well, I guess he might try to kill Dog. So, in well, he can't. He can't. Even without Warrior, you can't because there's a Landius aura. It's just yeah. not strong enough. But like, what, what about with Ares? Um, I still don't think it's a kill unless you crit. I feel like it has better odds than Rachel. Oh, actually, did quite a bit of damage there. So, unfortunately, Liana's gonna heal back uh, Juggler to full, and probably not gonna kill him with Ares. Yeah. But it is a pretty good chance, as long as you can. Attack juggler. Okay, so it's I think it's either full or like 99% here. Maybe if Miracle got set up last turn too, then that could have been converted into a kill on dog. Yeah, but he kind of wasted it. Okay, so is he going to go for Odious here? You can't though. The juggler is going to guard. Yeah. Okay, let's see if it crits. It did crit. A little damage, though. Didn't dispel water. The pull's gonna help a little bit. You can't run away, though. So, Ares just gonna die. Okay. 
I guess he didn't realize it. Um, yeah, I mean, under Landius, you can't move back. Well, at least this isn't going to turn 12, probably. Maybe. I mean, he can still take over middle. Although he's going to get pushed soon. 3C is going to be back. Momentarily. So the only hope is taking over at least like four tiles mid. Still has Rachel so she can try to kill things. Yeah. And the way you have set up, you can demolish Rachel without hitting Chuckler. Because Rachel could potentially, yeah, so Rachel could potentially kill Chuckler with the attack skill. But in this case, she won't because Sorcerer's HP is low now. A really tough position. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is a kill. Close though. Liana can still reach. Mm hmm. So my assumption is Wooper's not running Steel Dog. It does seem a little squishy. Um, it's hard when you know what enchant their unit has. It it it, it is Steel. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, it's not way a level. <laughs> I, I didn't really get to look at this uh, stats. Though. Okay. Um, I don't. Yeah, Rachel doesn't have a tax skill, but yeah, probably not gonna kill. Him. If you have attack buff, it's worth a shot because if you did get miracle. Well, could Landius move underneath Dog, and then Liana can't move to heal Dog, and then you attack buff? But I guess then shelf moves. But you could save that, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you can move. You could... Yeah, you could faction buff under yeah. Juggler, actually. So this is... Yeah. So if you faction buffed, you'd have killed. Because Liana wouldn't have healed. And if and, um, shelf and... demolishes, you just use Rosin to heal Rachel? Hmm... Well, Shelf is going to move up and demolish, but if she demolishes, Rachel was in position to get healed from Juggler, so she was going to get healed to full. Ah. So, probably would have killed. I mean, yeah, Fax Faction buffs back this turn. No reason to go try to go for the risky heal. I mean, he did have a single target heal, actually, which he could have. Yeah, I guess Prayer would have probably saved that. I mean, if you kill off Juggler, you do have a better chance. Although, I don't think he can win. It's going to be really hard to kill off Landius. With... You have a pseudo heal from... Odius. And you have Liana left. Juggler already used B-Shock in 3C. I think Landius needed to take that tile right of Juggler. Uh, either that or... One below juggler, his own juggler. Yeah, he's playing a little too safe. Taking the center is definitely a big win condition. Mm -hmm. He would have isolated all these two, and it would have been very nice. Still has attack buff. And he skills back actually. So with Scythe, you could potentially kill here, I think. Which I think Easy's gonna go for. Because he's very focused. He tunnels very hard on killing tank. Yeah. Um, so he's definitely go for the trailer kill. Gotta try it. So if you position your Rachel in front of the Landius, because the and then Scythe. Probably his best chance. I, I think it might kill. 
Looking at the damage she did, yeah. probably can't kill. She has to go for it though, right now. And definitely move in front of Landius. Mm -hmm. It's the three C's back this turn for Aldius. Um, I think this is worth a shot, might kill. Mm -hmm. Almost. This seems like the end. Yeah, there's not many tools left for easy. Being down a unit is always really hard. It's just your opponent can do so much with turn order. Having up an extra action against you really mm -hmm. screws things up. Yeah, so it's just 5 on 4, and he has act again. So, which he doesn't really need. He's just gonna nuke. His intention is not even really to kill. So. I'm not sure if that Landia still has Tenyos. What do you mean Landia still has Tenyos? Oh, he had a Tenyos mobility. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if he still has it. If he does, he can move on the fort. Well, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, Oldies can push any time and try to get in position. He could even act again this turn. Yeah, I'd imagine Wooper just moves his dog and then pushes up. Yeah, he can do that. Yeah, this is not going to be too much. Yeah, just totally walled by the Guardian Infantry there. I guess that does prevent Rachel from getting knocked out of center, but it's going to cost you all the other center tiles anyway. What do you mean? Um, Landius moving above Rachel means Oldius can't push her left or up. Or Oldius. The, the position Izzy's Landius is in prevents Oldius from pushing... Oh, never mind. That's Rosin. Good lord. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if Rosin gets pushed. Yeah, I mean, there's not going to be much to say about the game, because it's uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. There's yeah. There's just not much to say, because he 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 doesn't even need to do anything at this point, and he's just gonna buy, he's just gonna win by damage. He doesn't even need to try to take over middle. He already has three units in there. So more or less, Izzy needed to focus a lot more on occupying the center more quickly. Um, mm -hmm. After Oldius 3C got burned, that's definitely your opportunity to push in. There's not another 3C coming for a while. You're running a bunch of flyer units. That's uh, interesting movement there, because Landius can get in now. Beast oh, shot. he can. Oh, Beast Shot, okay. Got a bum rush mid, then save Ares' pull to counteract Oldius' push. And use yep. Landius Rosin as anchor to not get pushed. You are exactly right, Sui. Yep. So Ares is like the key. And you also need to take mid. It's basically mid, mid wars here. Um, Easy did almost kill the juggler. I think he would have killed if he played a little more smart there. 
Yeah. Definitely had an opportunity there if he used the affection buff. Luckily, Anna. And Rachel would have got attack skill. And def definitely would have killed. Because Liana can't heal. I think even if Juggler dies, though, this game ends pretty similarly. Couldn't let Ares go. Like, maybe if Ares survived, you could figure something out. Yeah. I mean, B Shock's gonna be up soon, but it's not really going to do much. I guess he can finally kill that dog. Can he though? Um, lock him in fog, maybe? No. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter if that dog dies at this point, so. Yeah. So you can entertain the crowd. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll try to think of how to do that. <laughs> um, I think we went over the game pretty well. Uh, the nature of the strategy that Wooper chose with picks like Oldius second, or I want to say, and Dog third. No, it was like Oldius fourth and a healer second. Because Raza got banned. Um, by then, there just wasn't a lot of aggressive options left on Wooper's team. That tells you that Wooper is probably going to go for the middle and just stall. Um, if, if you can't think of a good way for your opponent to kill you, and you can't think of a good way to kill your opponent, then... That situation means you need to consider taking the center very quickly. Um, if you don't, you're kind of screwed. But even, even just fighting Oldius in this kind of stall game is something you can't really afford. You kind of you can if you have Hilda, right? Because Hilda would prevent the displacement from Oldius. But if you don't have Hilda, then you have to use the ghetto anchors of Oldia or Landius and Razan. And I don't know, it's just rough. Could even consider running Crystal Warlocks on Rachel and no flying on Razan. That way you can use that tile beneath that tree. Um then you'd get you'd not get knocked into it. And you have Ares pool to find opportunities in this game still. So it wasn't hopeless for Izzy. I do think that Wooper had the better team. Um, just shelf, and Wooper understood the win con better. Okay, so I'm ready for game two. Okay. okay. Izzy does have some options here. Uh, One, two, three. Yeah, what do you think would be good against that sort of strategy to slot in? Uh, you just gotta assassinate Shelf and then it's GG pretty much. Yeah. Maybe pick up Shalinka or Sigma or Mariel early. All of those can handle Shelf just fine. Well, it depends because Shelf is gonna probably, if you're a stall player like that, it could be like a steel shelf with because with like uh bracer yeah yeah so i mean it's really hard to snipe um, i you could am not sure if sigma can actually kill that you you could check if it was bracer or not it was not it was vidars so oh yeah that's was it vidars it was okay okay that's easy kill yeah so he puts out yulia 
which is not bad. It's actually a good pickup because your opponent is running pretty much all single target. And there's no debuffs, so Yulia is a good pickup here. Smart choice. Yes. And Yulia also very fitting for his style because it's very stally. Yeah, Sui also mentioned Ari could have been a good swap to fight Shelf with. Ari? Yeah. Arian? Yeah. Go for double AoE, probably can kill. Maybe. I mean, you still gotta go through Maidens with Arian a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's he picked up Shelf this game yet. So... Yeah, he did pick her pretty late last game, didn't he? Yeah, it was the last pick, actually. It was Landius, Oldius, Chuckler, Liana, and then Shelf last pick. So he had the opportunity to get rid of Shelf there. Definitely would have removed one of the stronger win cons. Yeah. So, he did pick up MK, which is not the worst right now, because he does know his Cavlandius, so yeah. it's not too bad. It's not, I mean, MK is not good against Landius in general, but it's better than facing against a Lancer Landius. Much better, yeah. Shalinka second. So it seems like Izzy's wise to the assassination game. Um, There's just a lot of units that you can't assassinate them. There's that one, there's uh, probably, most likely, Yulia picks pretty strong here, second pick. Yulia, you can't assassinate. Oldius. So, he could pick up someone like Oldius. L is also strong here. Yeah. Yulia is very strong here, so we'll see. Uh, he did ban Ares, so most likely it's gonna be Yulia, yeah. Because if he's gonna pick Odious, he wouldn't have banned Ares there. Yeah. And also the fact that it's a, probably like a holy Yulia, so he didn't want to get AoE. Which, you don't have to worry too much if you build your Yulia tanky. But most people that didn't usually been Ares, I guess, when, when they're trying to pick up Yulia, so. Yeah, she needs some pretty healthy HP and defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, mostly HP, as long as she's she can just, like, tank through everything, it's fine. Okay, interesting Toa. It's infantry Toa as well. Knowing that Which, it's the Cav Landius? Yeah, against Cav Landius, picking two infantry... Unless you have somebody that can carry and kill the Landius later. Not the best. So in that case, probably like Lozai is the best in this case. Because I don't think you can ever kill the Landius with those two units. Yeah. Um, Toa is also probably going to make that dog bring Origins of Light buff. Otherwise she's, cause otherwise she'd just be so useless against Landius, right? And there's no way to give her a Mimer. Which is mm -hmm. sort of the combo you go for there with Infantry Toa. Okay, Liana here. I guess you could bring Sky Archer. Sky Archer Origins of Light Buff, pass. I, I mean, the thing is, like, Toa boosting Shalinka here doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I mean, there's no one to kill, really. Um, okay. I guess dog with Mimer tier? That could be something. And the fact that he's going to end up with two tanks, with Liana, it's going to be very hard. It's already hard to try to kill that Yulia right now. One good thing is that Toa has that fixed immunity, which is going to make your make your units a little tankier 
Yeah. Shell probably not the best pick, but he looks like he just wanted to give faction buff to Le uh, Yulia. Even though he has gospel. Yeah, gospel seems sufficient. Um, I guess if there's a dog, so Sh Shelf will pretty much just full heal the team. Because I think Shelf is Shelf is the only unit that can get sniped. I'm not sure if Shalinga can kill through Shrine Maidens. Probably not. I'm not too sure. Because I know Shalinkas don't run Twilight, so. Um, well, I... you, you know what though, Toa, Toa, Toa does give you fixed damage, so if it's like a metal fight, yeah. you shoot three Cs, you can't kill. At the same time, you have Mario on the other team, probably with Gospel, so if you get too close, she can snipe somebody. Probably Toa. Yeah, two tanks, pretty easy to fulfill the hit a guarded target condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think it's looking good for Wooper. Yeah, I don't really see how this Yulia dies. Um, maybe you bring Sky Archer and you have Mimer on your Toa and you try to blast the Yulia with AoE from Dog, but Dog's the only AoE, so that doesn't seem like it's going to work. Well, the thing is, Yulia is not very good if you like healers, but in this case, Wooper has two. You have Liana and also Mario. So she's going to be very hard to kill. Yeah. And obviously Yulia is very good against two tanks. And easy ended up with two. And even if Shelf isn't going to do much damage on Wooper's side, she is going to be annoying because of the disruption. Like the debuff or the buff removal. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, better this game because there's no Rosencio. It's actually going to do pretty good damage here. Okay, so Landius route, route. That's interesting. I okay, guess if makes sense gonna... because Shelf is going to buff anyway. Yeah. So there's no 3C, so you don't actually get the annoying 3C dispel. You only get one from Demolish, which is pretty much like a pre-3C build for show. Yeah. If you run Dim Jewel, I could probably see running 3C faction buff. It'd still be a little inconsistent, but I could see it. Yeah, with Act Again, it's not too bad. She has. Yeah. But shelf is not really your main thing, so that's fine. I mean, it's not like you need shelf to deal damage in order to win. Yeah. It's pretty much Yulia is going to godly menace these tanks, and then units are going to start dying. So if I understand correctly, those top lights... Um... When you attack, you ignore this advantage, right? Yes. Not when you're being attacked. So she's she's an easy target for Mario. Yeah, not not when you're being attacked. They are considered lancers on enemy phase and they're neutral on player phase. Okay. He's reading his own skill. Maybe not too used to playing Toa. Dog did bring buff for her. Mm-hmm. The only good snipe targets are Shelf and Liana. Maybe if Wooper didn't have Act Again, and you had Act Again, but no, because Izzy is first player, so that wouldn't work. 
Interesting. So is he trying to go for Yulia here? Um, she'd be the only person in range. But uh, I think you just give away your unit for free, though. Yeah, um, Mariel's just going to heal this Yulia back up, even if Liana can't reach right now. I mean, she's just gonna kill. She's gonna move three, act again, heal Yulia a little bit, and then kill Toa. So it's gonna be four and five now. Yeah. Um, if Liana doesn't have prayer, maybe Yulia dies to dog? Yeah, maybe. He did bring prayer last turn for some reason, even though he wasn't against the AoE team, so most likely I think he brought prayer. Ooh, yeah. Bro. That's the only way I really see this play working out, if Liana doesn't have prayer, and then maybe in that situation you would want to just move twice with Mariel and not break commandment so Yulia gets more heals. Yeah, he could have just healed, but might as well kill. Um, if he has heal, well, he doesn't, so that Yulia is actually most likely dead. Yeah, it looks dangerous. So this is not too bad because Mariel already used the ignore guard. It's gonna be hard for her to use the ignore guard again. Yeah. Um, if that Yulia dies to the struggler, which most likely he will. Or you I... could kill with Shalika, I guess. Yeah, he can. Did he get Tenya? Um, seems so. The thing is, I don't think Shalika needs to kill Yulia there. I think Dog can do it and. Because no, it's it's better if Schlinka kills because Dog can save three C. Right. Mm. I guess I was just thinking about it in terms of I'd want Schlinka to have her guard ignore up on shelf sooner. No, I think it's fine because I think three C is pretty crucial. Because I mean, there's just Landius, and as long as you gospel, so the Landius proc uh, route. For yeah. juggler, um, but Rob pushes. That's maybe you could make it work. I mean, if you if you jump Landius, it's pretty good for him. So as long as Landius moves, okay. yeah. Uh, let's see what he does here. Well. It looks like Shalinko would die to another shelf AoE. It would be just demolish. But I think shelf can do that much damage. Jump here would be kind of weird. That's a bad jump. Yeah. So right now, Easy has has the advantage just because you killed Ophelia. He could potentially throw it away though. Because he's thinking about jumping. Shalinka is out of guard range. I think you could just move Shalinka though, right? Because if she has Tenyo's up still, you can just move her out of range of Mariel and the shelf AoE. And you'll be fine. Well, I mean, it's okay if she dies because she has revive anyway. Um, It'd be nice to save it, right? Mm -hmm. You can probably kill the Mariel actually. Yeah. And she should be able to get an act again off that, but... Uh, I don't think he brought 3C, though. On Shalinka? I think he did. Mm -hmm. He did? I think so. But jump will be pretty bad here. Yeah, if you were going to jump, then you should have just not killed the Yulia with Shalinka, right? Well, actually, jump is not too bad, because you're going to get routed, but Shelf cannot use any spells on it. Uh... Because she only has Demolish right now. Mario also cannot reach. Liana has one move. She cannot heal Mario. So if Landius pushes like this, we can actually kill that Mario. Gets a heal, yeah. 
Um, if Shalinka has 3C, then she could kill the Mariel and get an act again, too. Or, no, she didn't bring 3C, you're right. Yeah, she didn't bring 3C. But you can still kill Mariel. Which is good. Uh, if you don't kill Mariel, it's a problem. Uh, you have to kill Mariel. Landy is already moved. Shelf cannot kill Shalinka with yeah. normal attack. So this is actually pretty good for him now. Up a unit. Nice place to be in. And Shelf is, or Shalika is a, an eventual win pawn on this shelf. What you actually want to do is act again Troubler, so he's free next turn. And probably... You actually want to act again, Chocolate. Be shock um, well, I guess Shelf can move, so. Well, actually, it's route. You can just cleanse it, so you don't need act again. Yeah, move Landius, and then you just move uh, Liana. I mean, there's no reason to stay that far, right? It's actually yeah. pretty bad to stay that far. Because you want to group up with Juggler. I think that he's trying more to avoid shelf AoE, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to, right? That's why yeah. you want to group up with Juggler. Yeah. More farther you, away you are, worse it gets. Because you can hit things without hitting Juggler. But yeah, um, Landius can actually kill this Shalinka, because it's calf calf. One life at least. Probably would have been good. You know what though? I think he can PSP shock, right? Yeah. Yeah, he can P shock. They'll kill one life of Landius, I think. But the thing about easy is, oh, he oh, oh yeah, yeah, he brought yeah, he brought right. faction buff for Toa. So if he acted against Juggler last turn, he could have guarded Shalenka. I don't think it matters too much because she can he can guard this turn anyway. Yeah. She just loses one life. Uh, there's there's no real way to kill Shlink at this turn. So pretty good. Just because Liana cannot reach to heal Landius. Yeah. But at the same time there's no way to kill. Um act again Landius is probably the move. Yeah, you can. That all you also well, will Landius run out of guard if he does that? Because then, cause sh sh like, I just, like, I just don't understand why Juggler had to move that far to attack uh, Landius. Because he still has magic guard. Yeah. I mean, Miles will guard Shlinka. Yeah. Now you sort of have to activate. Not not that she's gonna die. Yeah, so you could act again. And you definitely want to act again. Landius, yep. And then kill off this Landius one life. And then you're actually guarding Shlinka now with Landius. I think guard might be down, but it should be okay anyway. Shlinka's full HP. Yeah. No, it's it's one more turn anyway. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. Wooper's kind of just boxed out. Yeah, easy should take this. One more turn until the uh, ignore card. But both Shrine Maidens, so it's not going to be easy to kill at the same time. Yeah, I think uh, Mimer has gone down on Shalinka by now. It's looking pretty good for easy though. Oh yeah.
one good thing is there's no 3C this time. Demolish is pretty weak. Yeah. But Guard is down now. Oh. That's pretty dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, Shaliko won't have her talent because she's near a unit. Oh, Potentially, I think Landis can't kill this. Nope, too tanky. I think she does have her talent anyway. It's one. I thought it was two blocks, but it seems like it's one. Okay. So guard is down as well. So you could attack. You could heal and then attack. Um, Liana actually. There should be no more guard on the land use, but he moves back. So he could heal, attack Liana. That forces Liana to use up heal first turn. Yeah. And it's going to give him so much more option. I don't see why not use Fleeting Flash on Shalinka either. Yeah. Might as well use it. If, because yeah, Shelf's in this position, you are definitely going to kill her, skipping her troops. Is this skipping troops 3C though? No, that's a fleeting flash. When allies are adjacent. Okay. Um, 3C is act again when enemies aren't in two blocks. And ignore up to 20 to 40% defense depending on adjacent allies as well. So yeah, seems like Izzy just locks Whooper out of center here. Yeah, you could start blocking if you wanted to. Mobility is pretty limited because you have to stick your units right next to your tank. Interesting act again. Because, yeah, if, if Leaving Flash was up here, either Liana or Shelf are dead. Yeah, I wonder what his plan is. Uh, putting his Shlinka back. There's really no reason to. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm not sure what he's afraid of. Liana should go under Landius. He can't. Cause, oh, he can't. Okay. Oh, it's a swamp. That's right. Yeah. Haven't played this map in a while. I feel that Izzy needs to work on his center taking game. I guess uh, you you always have four tiles, so it should be fine anyway. But things don't have to be this painful. Well, I mean, it's not just taking center; it's just the you don't have to be afraid so much. You don't have to be afraid at all. You're you have the advantage. I mean, your opponent has to be afraid of you, so yeah, he's, he's just moving back. And his skill, his refreshes are up, so he needs to make plays. I'm not sure what he's waiting for exactly. I, I, I don't think you should move Landius there. I'm not sure what he's going for.
Because if if he doesn't kill anything, he can't lose by damage. Because Leon and Landy is already in. Yeah. Or at least Shelf is out. Leading Blast to Shalika. So, I mean, I feel like this is a turn he's going to do something because there's an act again as well. Let's see. He's trying to see if we can kill that shell, looks like. Well, it'll definitely be easier to kill the shell, but this will be a very easy kill. I, you didn't. You, you didn't have to wait for the act again. It, it doesn't matter that much, but yeah, easy kill looks like. Pretty hard to not kill when you skip soldiers, although Omega struggles sometimes. But not a shelf, I think. I'm pretty sure Omega usually kills shell. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it didn't really. It's, it's a pretty squishy shelf. Okay. That's, Still looking good. Yeah, um, that, that's GG, I think. Yeah, should be. Actually, I kind of zoned down. What just happened? Um, Landius one-shot that Liana with a basic attack. So that's really... Was she not 100% HP? What just happened? Rag. Okay. Um, okay. usually I think Liana tanks that, though. Yeah. I mean, that Liana was pretty... It wasn't squishy. It was like 13,000 No, that, that, that... I think, uh, Whoopers Liana was only like 11,500. So that's, that's probably why. Okay. I don't know if either players really need to make too many changes. Um... I'm surprised that what Izzy played last game worked out so well. Yeah, I mean, I think that it was it was interesting what happened. Uh... I didn't see the play coming, but he did see, I guess, Liana not healing Yulia and then killing Yulia. I thought it was looking bad for him, actually. Yeah, Wooper pushed up a bit too aggressively. Okay, so Wooper first picks Kruger after switching in, swapping to pretty much pure debuff from a the more AoE damage based box he was running previously. Yeah, I mean, it pretty much changed the debuff box. Yeah. Pretty meta. It's very interesting. I thought he wasn't using it because he doesn't have those units. Well, it looks like he does. Pretty, pretty meta. All the units here. Maybe a little low on the stars. Who knows? Yeah. Izzy, on the other hand, swapped in Reen. 
So Schlink again is not too bad. Yeah, lots of debuff. So... So Ban's here. You only get, get rid of Himiko. You already have Sigma. You don't have to get rid of Bozo. Bozo's the easy kill there. Yeah. Same with Kruger. Um, Reen, you kind of want to get rid of. But Reen and Himiko would have been good bans here. Um, Himiko's being hard to deal with because you have two assassins. Kind of a misband then. Miss yeah. opportunity. If you're going to play assassins, usually you want to ban the stuff you can't kill. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bozo is short leg and pretty easy kill, so. No need to ban. I think he was kind of afraid of the faction buff. Which doesn't really matter. Yeah. Burn buffs himself. Kruger just doesn't care that much. Yeah, I think Landy's pick here is okay. Hilda's actually better. Yeah. Just because there's Himiko. There's Odia still up on Whooper's side too, so there could be push strats. I think Ares is a much better pick. Yeah. Than all these. There's plenty of debuff AoE to capitalize on with Ares, or even just for the engage. Although less so relevant with these three units. He's gonna end up with Toa, which is not the worst. You're getting the faction buff, right? Yeah. And Someone like Kruger is not going to have fashion buff. Same with Himiko. And Florentia actually gets the Empire buff, which is pretty nice for Wooper. So Liana bans actually not too bad. I would ban Liana and Ares in this case. Um, Toa can snipe Liana, but... Okay, so he gets two act again. But yeah, that. Two act again is player two. It's a uh, risky business. Yeah, because I mean, there's burn. Uh, it's kind of scary from that side. But you do have one act again on your team. So. You I can always... counter half of it. Yeah, I always find the problem with that when you're player one with just one act again to counter player two, though, is that that act again is tied to your healer moving. Yeah, that's true. So you need something to aggressively manage it rather than defensively. Either that or you need another healer. Um, Sui mentions would have been a fine draft if that was a flyer Toa. Yeah, I don't like infantry Toa anywhere near as much here, especially on this map. Yeah, let's see what happens. I mean, giving three debuffs, kind of scary. There's also heal block. Three debuffs versus three assassins. The only thing that makes it hard is not banning the Himiko and also giving two act against here. Otherwise, I think it's okay. His, his ban pick wasn't... It was going to be okay. But... We'll see.
it was pretty easy to spread against Himiko, but it's very hard to spread against Burn and uh, Kruger. Yeah. You could zone out Kruger. Only problem is there's two at the ends. So we'll see. And it just depends on the burn as well. If it's like a balance blade, it's hard to dodge. Very tanky, by the way. That looks like full moon and not balance blade. Um, 1500 attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. That'd be a crazy burn if it was. Mm hmm. Very tanky. What do you think about Sigma running Savage Attack here and trying to snipe that Himika? Mm. Well, in this case, Himika is not really a problem because it only has one AoE. Yeah, as long as you kill this Kruger and kill this Burn, it should be fine. Himiko herself can't really do too much. You can spread out. Also, you do have Liana. Yeah. Oh. So he is spreading out. It's just not too bad. I can see how those two act agains make it really troublesome because you want to teleport Shalinka in, but then Bernhard or even Hibiko could just get acted again and counter that. Yeah. Because he's trying to see where the three C's gonna land here. Okay. Is he gonna just teleport her in anyway? Uh, maybe. I think so. By the looks of things, but Leon. So Gospel is three cost skill. I mean, three range skill. Yeah. So, you could have put Liana in a safer spot. That's for sure. Not in range of Himiko 3C, ideally. Yeah. This map's just really awkward for Infantry Toa because of all those sea tiles around the bridge. Should be okay once we get to the middle. Can she reach Kruger? Um. No, no, she can't. So every act against like two move or three? She needs an ally in three blocks to use t a two move act again, and then she has just a three move act again. Two move, so one short, looks like. Two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one short. You could hit him and go, but there's no point. Yeah. You just burn your skill. She wants to snipe somebody like Liana or Florentia here because Sigma marked Kruger. Well, I mean, I don't think they're the main targets. You have to you have to kill Burn and uh Himiko eventually. I guess Shalinka could go for trying to kill Burn. I really don't think I really don't think that's a kill. I do not either.
I just don't see who else can do it. Well, he did get Breeze and Kruger, which is pretty nice, and he can try to make two act again plays here, actually. So burn act again first. I don't think he can kill off Shalinka though. Yeah. So I'm not sure if this burn is gonna AoE. Toa is bringing anti fix damage, so that does cut a lot of burns damage here. Yeah. Also kills a kill potential though. Yeah. Because no, ra no rag. She might just die. Is she gonna attack? Burn. There's just no point because Florentia can just heal. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind trying to copy that single target faction buff from Pilda on to Shalika, but you should probably just go back with her after, yeah. You can still die, though. She's not under guard. So she's gonna act against Kruger, or it might be Himiko, let's see. Himiko. Okay. Probably the better choice. Yeah. Buff stealing, annoying. Not too much damage. I suspect it's like four stars. Yeah, it seems like a weak Himiko, and no buff. Does it kill? Yep, should be easy. Totally even saving her buff copy could have been good, but it doesn't matter that much. Doesn't move Kruger because Kruger... Oh, uh, no, you should not do that. Doesn't move Kruger last turn because Kruger could be in range of Sigma following up. Yep. Yep, guarding there is probably the best play you can make right now. You don't want to throw all your units. So there's a ignore guard skill from Himiko. Yes. I don't think she can kill. She's pretty weak. Yeah, sh she won't kill either this Toa or this Shalinka. Mm -hmm. Probably won't even get through their troops. You could... If you AOE, yeah, Burn did not use his AOE, so and Liana's out of range. Oh, he did clock three C. Interesting. He could potentially lose both his units here. Yeah. It looks pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least there's Toa going to be cutting a lot of that damage out. From burn. Yeah, but I mean, there's two AOEs coming. And this is not going to do anything. You want to be patient with Sigma. You want to make sure to use him to kill Kruger. You don't want to use him now. You yeah. want to move Toa this turn? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing because her action is pretty useless. Okay, he's, he's using up his turn. Yeah, Mana was all going close, heal Toa, and then maybe act again. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Can uh, you just go this spell? Well, your units are in danger of dying. It just depends on how much damage this Kruger does. It is no faction buff. I'm not sure what star it is. Yeah. Um, burn 
there's no rupture damage, so which is good. It's your fixed immune. But we'll see how much damage. Okay, so Kruger comes. Oh, very, very OP damage here. So, actually, I think he is in danger. Nope, one short. I think okay. Shalika's definitely dead. Yeah, most likely. Oh, they're definitely dead. With this and Burn is dead. They're both dead. Yeah, that 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 should be a pretty easy kill. Oh, actually, nope. Shalika's back. Which is pretty nice. So he could... It's not over yet. Yeah. So next turn, Sigma should kill that Kruger. And then Sh Shlinka can make his move. Make her move. Yeah, because after Kruger is dead, there's no more AoEs on Whooper's side. Oh, he's just going to auto-attack. Okay. So Toa's actually alive now. That's probably worth more than killing Toa. Because Shalika has Gospel still, I think. Uh, so this turn, I will use Sigma to kill Kruger. That's the first thing I would do, to be honest. So that Kruger doesn't use the second AoE. Yeah. Um, The thing is, you already marked him. So might also use him to kill. But he has 3C, looks like. So he can act again, right? Um, Sorry, who has 3C? Uh, Shlenka. Or yeah. does the enemy have to be far away? Enemy has to be far away, so I don't know if she could do that. Okay, so uh, this is this is a dying move. If he moves Liana or Toa, it's GG. He has to move Sigma or yeah. Shlenka. But he is going to go for a Kruger, which should be easy kill here. So not too bad. Just has Burns AoE now, which he might use here to kill off Toa. Yep. Okay. It's worth mentioning this Himiko stole Hilda's class change. And also I think she stole Fleeting Flash from Shalinka, but that won't matter. Might matter if Liana moves next to Hilda directly. I'm worried this... about this Shalika dying to Shadow Raid. Hmm. Yeah. There's no one to 3C though, right? No, 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 no 3C. Uh, moving Hilda could be bad, because could die to Shadow Raid. Um might not. Oh, should die, yeah. Yeah. The yep. Cav steal and you, you, Yeah, you need it to move Shalinka to kill. It's just that a ban, ban pick would have went really nice for him. As long as he banned Himiko there. Yeah. I don't know. Killing Burn still seemed difficult. Mm -hmm. And Burn shredded that Hilda pretty bad. Yep, and that's GG. 2-1. Pretty close last game. So... Wooper advances to round 32 and easies out. So Better congrats. luck next time. Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Oh, I said uh, better luck next time Yep. to Izzy. Yeah, pretty tired. Um, Thanks for watching. I mean, I was like, hopefully I, I didn't say anything dumb because I'm pretty tired. So I'm pretty sure you're tired as well. Yeah, no. You're just... streaming for a while now. Yeah, thank you for joining me, Straw. It's always yep. a pleasure. Yep, thanks for streaming. Yep, you have a good night. You too. Anyway, that's the end of my stream. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here, and bye!